Hello and welcome, I'm Ajax Post and this is the Slade Dynasty Chronicles and I think we're on episode number 49. Now before we get started uh, on this new episode, I really do want to take this opportunity to apologise profusely to everyone who saw the last episode and suffered a visual injury as a result of the appalling, <laughs> appalling cacophony of of visuals in in the newly designed kids bedroom um, I have addressed that um, I think I can uh, take you in there now I'll put the walls back up because the walls should be better um, I've, I've left the wallpaper as it was um, it is kind of kid animal friendly so I'm okay-ish with that I wanted to tinker with it a bit more to be honest but uh, I couldn't find anything that, that suited but you'll be pleased to see the carpet is a much more muted and uh, and, and less offensive uh, pattern and certainly doesn't clash horrifically with the uh, with the wallpaper anymore anyway so where are we on today's little episode um, we left as Dolly and Mika were about to wake to wake to make their way back into into the Slade household uh, I think it's the first time he he's visited here, to be honest, as well. Uh, and we'd left the rest of the family pretty much their own devices, apart from Desiree, who, having been stood up by, well, not so much stood up, as abandoned by Ivan Hummel, who went straight back to work at the uh, Shady Shamrock within an hour or so of arriving at the Little Picture Theatre house uh, on their date. Um, Desiree has called upon the services of Brett Lachey, who has turned up here to be her second date of the day, and with any luck, slightly more successfully. Unfortunately, as you can see, she has an urgent bladder need, so she needs to deal with that, and hopefully uh, the lovely Brett there will be uh, will will still be around <laughs> when she comes out uh, to continue the conversations and the uh, ongoing dating thing stuff that young people do when they're on dates I suppose anyway let's go back to the household see where we are uh, Grandpop Carl uh, he's at his desk reading uh, despite the fact that he actually has uh, fruits or well, well a garden to harvest actually what I think I might have him do because I think his inventory is is all oh, loads of stuff in there um, we'll put off the harvesting and tending for the moment. I want to send him to the consignment store. So just bear with me a second while I get him sent over there. There we go. And Clyde Kilgore, we will... Uh, well, we'll just buy items, I suppose. That's what we want to do. So he will... Yeah, that's what he will do. He will go there, and he will appear in a moment when he comes back there. Right, back at the household, Deborah's on the toilet, uh, Carl's on there. He has a uh, hygiene issue, so I'm sending him off to the shower. Uh, the kids, as we saw, Ericsson is in bed asleep in, in the cot, um, while Ethan, he's playing with his, um, in, well, his special toy, but... I've noticed when I came back after the last save game that there's puddles here uh, near the dishwasher and near the downstairs uh, toilet and I don't know where they've come from <laughs> um, they're not broken um, and I, I don't know unless Ethan has been practicing his evil trait where is he there he is what's his traits loner eccentric and evil so unless he's been um <sighs> practicing his uh, pranking skills i don't know anyway so i've sent deborah down to deal with those but let's get on with today's show and let's get our two uh, young birds young lovebirds into the house uh we'll have them um sat here think. Now for those of you who are interested and who um, follow the DD thread on the Sims 3 forum, uh, okay so someone's had a great date, what's what's going on here? 
Mika's not leaving, is he? What? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I need to go home now. Why? <laughs> oh, I had such plans. <laughs> Why does this game do this to me? No. All right. Um, well, I'll try and retrieve him in a moment. Uh, but what I was about to say was that if if you um, if you follow the DD thread or the Daily Deal thread, that is, uh, on the Sims 3 forums, you may well be aware that I have recently purchased the Sims 4 base game. Uh, I've been putting it off, uh, well, forever <laughs> since it came out, really. But finally gave in um, on the latest uh, Origin anniversary sale. And one of the great things that you can do on that, one of the nice things they've made um, improvements on in terms of how your sim and NPCs interact, is that when you do something like this, you have a sit together option. So there's no sort of faffing around getting your sim sat down and hoping they stay still long enough while you find their NPC partner, who would have been Mika here, and call them over to sit down with them, um, which, as you may have seen in previous episodes, has sometimes been a nightmare. <laughs> okay, so, so that's fine. Okay, well, what we'll do, we'll have... Uh, how's Dolly doing? Oh, actually, there's lots of arrow traps going on here. What's going on? Uh, oh, she... She needs to go to the toilet as well, um, but she's not going to because Johnny's going up to the shower, and Deborah is going to shortly be mopping up. Actually, will oh she might be able to beat her into that. So I think I set Deborah to mop the one by the dishwasher first. Oops, there it is. So there you can use that. We won't bother sitting down. Okay, and that will make her life a bit easier. And with any luck, she can. Uh, she can call Mika back because <laughs> I want him. I want to progress their relationship. Okay, Desiree, let's go see what you're up to. Uh, you're still in the toilet, are you? Uh, okay, we'll leave you there for a second. I don't have anything to do with it at the moment, so he can stay there. Playing with his friend. Johnny's in the shower. Where's Deborah? Excellent. She's mopping that one up. Well, uh, Dolly take care of her need. Right, splendid. So Desiree's back from the toilet. Ooh, did he follow her? Follow her in there? Well, that was quick, my dear. That's very good. Okay, now I'm not going to buy another ticket to set, take them to uh, to the cinema to see a movie. Actually, I wonder if there's a movie going on here. Uh, oh, what what I've got in this theatre is I've I've obviously used the um, the Le Cinema Plum Bob, whatever it was called, uh, objects to create my own sort of c cinema, but I've also put in a custom content rabbit hole door. So it treats it as a sort of uh, a, a theatre, a cinema rabbit hole, basically. Uh, so I can send them, but there's nothing showing for a few hours yet, so they can't go there. Could they? They could talk the theatre with. What do we know about Brett? Nothing. This is. I'm going to be lazy here because um, I'll get confused. <laughs> You've seen me do it before. I get confused so very easily. I'll have. There you are. Desiree can tour the theatre with, with Brett. That's fine. And then I'll come out of that hopefully, and I can do something more interesting with them. Okay, let's uh, check up on the family back at home. Dolly, go back up to. Uh, that's her bedroom, isn't it? So she will relax on the bed for a second. Uh, Johnny should be finished in the shower shortly. Hello, who was that making a... What? What are you doing? What's, Des what's Deborah doing? Okay, so she's mopped up that puddle. Oh, maybe she couldn't get in the toilet because uh, Dolly was there. So you'll mop that one up. That's fine. Um, what that then means is that Ethan, I think, can sort out. There you go. Can he take a shower on his own? Oh, he can. That's it. He can do that. And Johnny. 
We could do the laundry actually. That always needs doing. <laughs> That'll keep him busy for a moment. Oh, what's just. Oh, can Deborah not go to the. What's the problem with that puddle? She's going the long way. Oh, Deborah. Okay, right, so Carl has arrived at the consignment store. So I will just go through his uh, repertoire of vegetables and produce. Entirely the wrong word, I know, but I don't care. <laughs> we will sell what he can. So I will be back shortly. Okay, so we've uh, consigned Carl's produce to the lovely man at the consignment store. So we'll get him back and he'll... No, I'm not... To... I must select the right person. Uh, so he can harvest, there we go, and tend. And we've got a dead plant to get rid of as well. Uh, what I think I might do actually, um, it was mentioned uh, by ZG, was it? Possibly not. Somebody, <laughs> um, uh, I, either a subscriber or someone on, on the forums that you could actually hire a gardener. There is a mod for that. Uh, so what I might do, while, while Carl is, is getting so aged, so old, and nobody else can garden yet, I might get a professional in to take care of the garden for him. What is she Oh, Deborah. Right, she needs to come here. I don't quite know why she's not mopping up the... Uh, mopping up that mess. Uh, we haven't got anything up there anymore. Okay, right, so Dolly, uh, you were going to go upstairs until you were distracted. Relax up there. Actually, you probably already, probably already did that, didn't she? And, and I'd got distracted by somebody else. So uh, Desiree's on the tour, hopefully with Brett. Okay, now once... Uh, It's obviously very sunny out today, isn't it? Right, okay, thank you, Dolly. <laughs> so, you're relaxing on your bed. So, can you now make a phone call and invite your boyfriend? It, it says it there. Mika, to come over to the house. Where's Johnny going? I was going to talk to Deborah. I don't want Deborah out there talking. She's supposed to be. Oh dear. Mopping up that. Oh. That's interesting. So it's Mika. What's the time? Four o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, maybe he's working. That's a little disappointing, isn't it? Let's see. What needs do we have here? Uh, she's put out fire. She needs to improve her handiness as well, actually. Can you mop up that puddle? Seeing as Deborah and Johnny don't seem to care about it. No, where's Ethan going? Let's follow Ethan for a s Dolly, what are you doing? Oh. Is that puddle outside? So ah. <laughs> no, there's puddles everywhere! Oh uh, no, the washing machine's broken us. Uh, that puddle must be coming in from outside somewhere. I don't understand. Oh no, 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 nobody's playing ball today. What's, what's, what's Ethan's problem? He's seen the chair. Oh, he wants to empty the bin. Why would you want to empty the bin, Mr. Young Ethan? Hmm? Have you got a plan in your little head? A little disruptive plan? Well, I'm jolly happy that you couldn't get to the bin in that case. Ha ha ha! Right, uh, okay, so 
what we will have. Can he read? He can. No, there's nothing in there. <laughs> nothing good in there to read, is there? Um, what's that? Let, let, let him read that. That's fine. Okay. Right, so obviously the uh, the washing machine was over being overactive. It's presumably why. Okay, Johnny, you're in a position now. Where can you get to there? Right, good. And can you then mop up that puddle without going outside? Oh no! Looks like we, looks like we've got a game glitch there. So I'm going to have to work around that somehow. Uh, any mail while you're out there? Oh, Desiree's oh, they're back from the theatre. Right, so Dolly, uh, is there anything in the fridge? Eat leftovers. Actually, are you the vegetarian? You are, so you'll have the um, cinnamon roll <laughs> as opposed to the pepperoni, which is a little bit meaty. Um, how's Ericsson? Oh, he's presumably still asleep. Oops, don't put the walls up. Is he still asleep? Yes, he's still asleep. Okay, Deborah's doing that. Carl's doing that. So let's check on Desiree. Okay, so she started painting. Where's her date? Where is her date? Where's Brett? Don't say he's walked out. That's me not paying attention, isn't it? Oh, it's nice to see the cinema's still busy-ish. Ooh, Sebastian Vandenberg, what are you doing here? Um, right. Uh, I, where's, where has, has he? Unless he's can't he can't still be in the theatre, can he? No. Right. What she will do then? Uh, I'm on Desiree. That's uh, that's who's that? That's Jeremy. No, we don't we don't want Jeremy. We want uh, that's it, Brett. Invite over. Will you do that for me? Please. <laughs> Did I hear screeching tyres then? What the heck was that? Ooh. Anyway, apparently there's been a letter for Dolly from Frederick Peck. It says, OK, keep an open mind for a second while I paint you a picture. You, me, together. How does that make you feel? Ooh, Dolly. Hmm. A potential paramour. Uh, and Deborah is thinking some sims seek to trim a few carbs so they can look good in a bathing suit, whereas others see health fitness as a 24 7 lifestyle choice. It's time to invest in some athletic equipment. Oh, I didn't know. Right. <laughs> um, Carl has sold uh, $1,600, simoleons rather, simoleons worth of produce, which is all very good. Nice to add to our funds. Where is Deborah doing? Oh, she's playing kicky, kicky bag. Oh, is that an athletic skill? That's nice to know. Right, so Brett. Oh, that must be the movie. The <laughs> sound from the movie downstairs. Uh, let me just... What? No, it's finished. There's no. Oh, maybe it's the. What is the time? Oh, it's gone five. So yes, there'll be a movie on in the uh, in the rabbit hole. Right, that's fine. Let's get Desiree home quickly, so she can uh, greet Brett. Right. So Johnny, you're not doing anything at the moment. So, I think you can interact with your son, Ethan. And we will chat. We will encourage him to improve his skills. What else can we do? 
tell him a story. That'll do. We'll stop him reading. Okay, whose phone is that ringing? I have no idea. <laughs> Johnny and Ethan getting on fine, that's good. Dolly, you can tidy up. And you'll probably have a shower as well, actually. After an exhausting day, trying to get a date. Oh, actually, uh, that which she could. Yeah, she could improve her handiness skills by uh, improving the, the basin there. That would be good, wouldn't it? Okay, they're fine. Uh, Ericsson's still asleep. My goodness, that boy sleeps for a long time. Which is very handy, actually. <laughs> uh, oh, Deborah needs to eat. So she needs to come back into the house. And could she actually prepare some new foods? A new meal. She will serve. Oh, oh that's the. No, not that wood. We'll use the proper cooker, not the baking oven. She will serve dinner and it will be a stew surprise. There you go. <laughs> I, 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 I must admit I have a suspicion that the men in this game do not like me. They're getting in my way. So, Mika having, a, having abandoned, walked out on Dolly, as we saw at the beginning. Brett has now decided he can't come over for some bizarre reason. So in that case, Desiree, I think the best place for you, if I can find it, is your favorite haunt. The Shady Shamrock. Oh my god, there's Daniel Jackson and Tasha Frogen. Excellent. Some old friends from the game. Uh, I think she she can moonlight as a mixologist. Uh, how's she feeling? A bit hungry. Hmm, does she need to be there? Well, let's get here to start with. Not going to go home. We go straight to the uh, to the bar. All right. So, what? The, how are they telling a story? Ethan, come back and listen to this story. <laughs> See, even the young men are just walking out on all these relationships. Okay, so. Right, so Ethan wants to practice chess. Interesting. Well, actually, he's got it as a as a wish there. I don't pay much attention to those, as you might have noticed. So you can play chess with Ethan. There you go. That would be good. That's, that's a nice bonding kind of thing, isn't it? Right. Um, yeah, Carl's been in the garden all day. He's probably a bit whiffy. Uh, he can't use the shower yet because Dolly's in there fixing stuff. But he is hungry, so he will have some pepperoni pizza. It looks like Eric's is still asleep. Johnny and Ethan are going to play chess together. That's nice. Deborah's cooking, and hopefully this one this one will be edible. And Desiree. Is at the bar. Oh, is she eating? Oh, very sensible. Very sensible. <laughs> oh, oh no. What's going on here? Tasha and, and Daniel have fallen out. Oh, hello. Who are you? 
I'm not sure what he's sneering about, but uh, this is interesting. I, I'm just oh, they're going to dance together. Oh, splendid! I, this this girl knows what she wants, which is fine. <laughs> Because whenever I try and direct her, something goes wrong. Again, a uh, handsome kind of fellow. Uh, and a new name. I don't think I've seen Joseph Lowe here before. I mean, is the game generating new NPCs for me? Or is he one that I put in the game and have forgotten all about? To be honest, I wouldn't put that past me. Okay, so I think... Uh, they, they can dance together for a bit. Yeah, go do that. Where are you going to do your dancing? Yeah! Groovy moves. Okay, I think Desiree, we need to get to know this chap. Okay, they're dancing but don't know each other at all. You know our ship shop. Hello! <laughs> Weird arrangement, there you are. Um, oh, they've done the introduction. Well, they're doing that. Oh, very formal. Okay. So let's get to know. Let's chat. And uh, let's uh let's be a bit funny. Tell a funny story. Alright, so we have a skill enhancement for young Ethan. Mind over matter, the, the successful application of logic to solve conundrums. And the pursuit of science and truth are what should compel Ethan. I'm not sure that's how it's going to turn out, but hmm, who knows? Okay, so he has presumably got a logic skill now. Oops, I was on the wrong right one anyway. There he is. He's still playing chess with Dad. That's fine. They can carry on doing that. Um, they're getting hungry. Ah, right. Looks like Deborah's finished cooking. Let's check that for a second. Uh, she's obviously got her own... Excellent! Oh, Deborah! Oh, love it! Maybe that's the ingredients, I don't know. Excellent quality. Oh, I wasn't expecting that, because I don't think... Oh no, your cooking skill has actually gone up. Ah, there's me, so I'm afraid I just don't pay attention, do I? <laughs> okay. Uh, call, call to meal. So she's going to get... Uh, I think Carl's eaten. So you want Dolly, Ethan, and Johnny. Yeah, because Desiree's not in the house. That's fine, so you could do that. So you're not going to eat... So you're going to eat your meal first before calling the others. Oh, cheap drinks at the bar. Right, back to Desiree, quickly. Oh dear, looks like Daniel's left on his own. Not sure where Tash has gone to. Okay, getting on reasonably well. We haven't learned anything about him yet, so we need to do that. Uh, we'll do another get to know, and then we need to find if he's single or not. So that's kind of uh, Desiree's process. Oops. Go. Where are you going? And he's leaving now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Why do they do that? Oh. Okay, so Tasha's come in with a nutrition cube. Where the heck? Oh, of course, there's a restaurant upstairs, isn't there? Um, but there's nobody manning. I thought I employed a chef. Hmm. Okay. And who else? Are we up? Oh, you're Clyde Kilgore. Oh, you were the consignment man, weren't you? That's where we saw you before. So it looks like, yeah, Joseph is on his way out. Okay, I, I think we will uh, abandon Joseph for the moment. Let's get 
Desiree home and she can in oh she's already eaten hasn't she no it's eight o'clock no no let's not send her home no she can spend more time at the pub oh he's around this side of the bar now uh, I think she wants to flirt with him so who's manning the bar then I'm not sure Oh, Daniel's taken to the... <laughs> it's another birthday! Which I've totally forgotten about. Oh, <laughs> my poor... Si no, no wonder they're so... They're so mean to me. Oh, hang on. So someone's been putting food out. <laughs> right. Okay, so Johnny is ageing up to uh, a, a proper adult now. Dolly's got her hand in the skill. Uh, everyone is celebrating that birthday at a distance. <laughs> All right. So Johnny's now fully mature, at least some of the time adult. He'll re really need to think about establishing himself in his career, which he doesn't actually have, and family life while there is still still time. Years yet. Uh -huh. Well, not a lot has changed there, has it, Johnny? To be honest, you look pretty much the same. Uh, he's having a midlife crisis. Oops. Right. Okay, sometimes when Sims transi transition into adulthood, they aren't ready to face the responsibility of adulthood and become anxious to recapture their youth. Oh, this is just a health screen, isn't it? Just telling you what's going on. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. So we'll say no, I don't need to know that. We'll deal with that when it arrives. OK, I think we'll come to the end of this episode. Uh, I just want to just check in on... Actually, let's, let's get this family eating. I think Carl... No, don't go to bed. Uh, I want you to shower and toilet and then you can go to bed there you go I know you're tired but <laughs> I need to keep you clean and tidy really uh, Johnny Dolly's okay okay so we need Johnny and Ethan to eat there you go and Ericsson you're still asleep. Splendid. He's been asleep this entire day, pretty much. Okay, Desiree, let's finally check in on Little Miss... Oh, they're this side of the bar now, are they? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Can you continue flirting with him, or is he now... Oh, yes. So, being flirty... A heat of the moment kiss, I think so definitely. And then an amorous hug. Oh, I think he likes that. That's good. So there might be a future in this relationship after all. She may not need to resort to Brett or Joseph Lowe or whoever else has crossed her path in the last few hours very alluring and he wants to hug her back and back and beyond Daniel is strumming a romantic tune I'm sure right okay I'm going to leave this lovely couple here for now while poor Clyde Kilgore waits to be served a meal well go to the restaurant then honestly these two are busy can't you see very busy I'm gonna leave these two for the moment and we will come back in but a few short days in our time anyway in their time of course it'll be no time at all and uh, see how far I can get them going now can I finally get Ivan to be a proper boyfriend 
to Desiree. But there's a challenge. There's a challenge. Will it happen? You'll only ever find out if you join me in the next episode of the Slade Dynasty Chronicles. So, to make sure you can do that, if you haven't done so already, why not subscribe? Then you'll know when it turns up. Amazing, isn't it? How these things work. It's the computer age, you know. That, that's what happens. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and if you have, please do leave a like. Any comments or suggestions, um, like how to keep my men, well, not my men particularly, but the, the, the men for my sim women, uh, and stop them running away from them, would be much appreciated. Any comments or suggestions, love to hear from you, as always. Anyway, for now, from the Slade Dynasty Chronicles and from me, Ajax Post, until next time, bye-bye for now.